All right, the um, May 4th meeting of the Northampton License Commission come to order. Commissioner Campadelli is absent. Uh, we are audio and video recording this meeting. Is there any public comment on any item uh, which you do not uh, wish to speak later? Speak now. Seeing none, I'll move to the item number five on the agenda. Arts Night Out, uh, Ms. Burke. Good afternoon. I'm Penny Burke. I'm the Executive Director of the Northampton Center for the Arts, and we act as fiscal sponsor for Northampton Arts Night Out. Um, I'm here applying for the blanket license that we've been able to uh, have for the last number of years for Arts Night Out participants. It's uh, the second Friday of every month from 5 until 8 p.m. Uh, there are more members of Arts Night Out than you see on this list in front of you, but these are the Arts Night Out members who have filled out the application and applied for the list. If you want, I can read them out loud. No, that's okay. Or if you don't. I think I um, would like to say one thing. I know that there's, we've had some conversations here about the kind of the, the members, shall we say, but I think this is a pretty straightforward list of either arts or arts-related retail venues in town. Penny, um, I just have one, one quick question. I, I went through the, the list and I think um, we had ex explained a while back our concerns about not crossing from what we see as art venues into basically business venues. Right. Um, since we're already really on the edge of what the ABCC, I think, find appropriate. Um, very nice retailer. Tell me a little bit of why J. Rich Clothing for Men is included amongst these art. Everything else seems to be... County Cross. Well, County Cross is included as well. Well, here's a great yes at just the right time. This month, Kathy Cross and Jay Rich are collaborating at their own expense to do something called the Art of Fashion, taking it to the streets, and they're having a spring fashion show right in the middle of Main Street and we I think we consider fashion to be part of the art world and this is something that they do. Um, so that's some that's one thing that they do every year but I think that they have um, a certain amount of work in their places and I, I, I think Interestingly enough, I mean, I have to say, those, those particular retailers are big art supporters. In other words, they're sponsoring chalk art in the streets outside of their establishments. They're sponsoring ice art in the street outside of their establishments. So I feel as if, you know, although they're not galleries per se, they're strong art supporters Support. who happen to be retailers. Oh, for sure. First night supporters, too, of course. Well, that's good. And the, um, uh, do all of these people participate every Friday uh, that you have it, or some do it some months and others do it other months? For the most part, the ones that are here are changing up every month. Um, I mean, I could go through and say which ones do it more than others, but no, that's okay. I would say that we have um, an established policy in Arts Night Out because some gallery shows do run longer than a calendar month. So we say that in order to be a member of Arts Night Out, you have to have at least six different shows per year. I see. Okay. And um, you've been doing this for a while now. It's been very successful from what I've heard. I've cruised around a few of them myself. Um, but. Uh, have there been any problems, any beefs, any things that no, have fact, come up? No, in fact, it's... Frankly, it's interesting. We're, we're just on the cusp of this becoming something bigger because of the formation in the new downtown Northampton Association, which you'll see some press releases today about with the new executive director. Because part of the mission of the DNA is to attract people to downtown. So we are going to be using these Second Fridays, these Arts Night Out events, uh, as a way to bring more people in and to enhance. So these members are going to be part of something that ultimately we think is going to become bigger all the time. That doesn't necessarily have anything to do with liquor licensing. More art. More art all the time. Just, we, um, 
you know, we issue this under special permit. Uh, you know the concerns that just surround the whole reason for the existence of this body about the service of alcohol. And there's never been a problem that I've heard of that has occurred with any of these things in the no, there hasn't been. Not only that, really, a lot of people, because of the way the license has been set up, which is very generous of you, I mean, many of these establishments are using the opportunity two or three times a year. They're not using it every month. It's galleries like Oxbow or APE or Michelson who have regular Second Friday openings where wine is served that are the most likely to be the ones to take advantage of it. And uh, no problems being reported. Okay. All right. No, that's that's um, mm -hmm. that, that's uh, what we've heard. And if that continues, then there's certainly no problem here with the um, applications as I see them. Uh, do you have any other questions? Okay. Uh, just uh, about the two retailers that we we've looked at, um, how long have they been participating, Kathy Cross and Jay Rich? Since the beginning. Since the beginning. They're original. So, I, you know, so I can't actually even stand here and tell you. We know that Arts Night Out started before we got involved in this licensing process because we were inadvertently all over town having right. <laughs> art openings with sure. wine being poured. So, um, no, but Kathy Cross and Jay Rich have been with us since the, the beginning. Inception. I'm just looking at a grandfather <coughs> kind of argument here. Um, proceed. Yeah, I, I, I think that I think that we we need to note that both of these retailers have been involved since day one, and that we as a board, given our uh, narrow window of opportunity for issuing such a license, um, will um, will need to argue if if it's ever raised by the state that, um, that we've grandfathered in these two retailers um, with the understanding that the, the operating body, if you will, basically Penny, that um, you will concentrate on art spaces. Absolutely. Uh, there's a third one, it's Ode, Ode Boutique, is that, is that primarily a clothing store? Well, Ode really does go beyond it. They have a special arts event every single month that happens in the store. So they will use an arts event to drive people into the store. A lot of times it's interactive. So it's uh, they they are probably one of the most active members. I've never been in there so I don't know what the story is. Well I know a few people you know who might like you to go in there. Okay. Pick up okay. a few things. Okay. Good. All right. Um, okay so um, again, the, um, the point that Elena has raised is the, um, we have a list of participating people. They're all committed to the arts. They are all acting within the spirit of Arts Night Out. Um, the, um, the reasons which we granted this special license in the first place all seem to apply to the ones that are currently in operation. Uh, we can agree so that... Um, if there's any change in sort of your thinking about this or participating members, just come back and let us know. We will. And as you know, just to remind you, because I know you know this, if anybody apply, wants to become a member of Arts Night Out between now and the time that we've applied for the license, which just applies to these people, they're going to have to come individually in front of you. In other words, a membership in Arts Night Out doesn't automatically then grant them part of this license. They would have to make a separate application. We appreciate that. Okay. Right? All right. If, in yeah. other words, we come today, we ask for the license for a year. It's for these members only. If somebody missed the opportunity, who's even already a member, they still have to come separately and apply for so a license. These, these 22 are the ones that fall under the license that we're granted. That's now. correct. Not nobody and else. If somebody else wants to come in and you think, yeah, absolutely, they should be in, we'll see them. Right. So Good. but okay. whether they're already a member who meant to apply and didn't, or whether it's someone who be, wants to become a new member, it would be up to the license to make an individual call. Obviously, they can participate in sort of punch. That's correct. All right, um, so do we have all the paperwork uh, the new application for yes. this year? And six, one $61 fee? Yes. Okay. And um, 
Uh, do you have any other questions? No, no I don't. Then I'll make a motion to approve the application for the uh, special um, license for Arts Night Out on the second Friday of each month for the participating establishments as uh, outlined in the application and on our agenda and um, for a single fee of $61 to cover the entire um, uh, group of participants. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, okay. Thank you, Penny. Thank you. Thank you very much. Item number six, application for short-term wine and malt, Glasgow Lands Scottish Festival. Hello again. Hello again. Thank and, you. And uh, July 16th is yes. your date this yes. year. And uh, I note we have the uh, information here. Uh, Paper City Brewing. Brewing is your yes. supplier. And um, are you doing anything different uh, this year? That Nothing different. I was going to say, one more day. Hmm? I was going to say, I hope it's as, as oh. successful as it has been every year. Last year we gave away $8,000 wow. to other, to other nonprofits. So, yeah. That's wonderful. <laughs> Thanks to the pub. And, you know. right. and um, let me see, the nonprofit. Proceeds go to River Valley Counseling Center, Polio Conform House, and Westwood. I'm sorry, River Valley Counseling Center, yes. Polio Conform uh, correct. House. Yes, Okay. Uh, do you have any other questions? I do, I do not. Um, then um, I'll make a motion that we approve the one day license for the uh, short term wine and malt for Glasgow and Scottish Festival on July 16th at Little Park. And I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, this agenda, I'm sure it's a misprint, it says AM, 10 AM. <laughs> be a pretty short. <laughs> okay. Please tell them not to pound them down. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. All right, thank you. OK, yeah. It's, it's right on the I have it right on the license. Yeah, yeah. It's correct on the license. Yeah. You can take it. Uh, You're welcome. Okay, uh, item number seven, application for seasonal wine and malt license, Ragam Incorporated, DBA Bombo, Bombay Royale at One Roundhouse Plaza. Hi. Hi. Could you My name is Promote Warrior, and I represent the Bombay Royal and the manager of record. I'm here to apply for the seasonal malt and beer. Seasonal okay. wine and malt license for the restaurant. Okay. And, um, this is where that Korean restaurant was? It used to be a Korean restaurant. It's, uh, it's now a Bombay Royal Indian restaurant. Uh -huh. Okay. At the one round house plaza. It used to be Sura or something in there? Yeah, Korean mm -hmm. joint, yes. Um, let me see. Um, and um, is this the uh, first time you've had um, you, you would be the manager of record? Yes. For this? Okay. And have you, uh, Mr. Warrior, have you uh, had a, um, uh, a license establishment before in Massachusetts? Yes. Uh, where? Uh, in uh, the, the town of Lee, Massachusetts. Uh -huh. And uh, how long did you operate there? Uh, I was there for almost uh, seven years. Is that still going? Yes, uh, it, it just changed or changed the name from uh, somebody else. Yes, but I'm still the uh, uh, you You're know, still still manager there yeah. too. Okay. All right. Uh, I see your. What's that? We have tips certification. Yeah, you are tips trained. Uh, and the the, the the other manager who said is tips certified. Vince just went to class. I spoke with Joe Giro, so he he's in the process. He's sure that he'll. Pass. Okay. Those are all the servers? That you yes, have. he's going to be up to provide us to, uh, like, all the time. All the time we do operations. Okay. He's the one who's going to serve all the alcohol. All right. Um, got a uh, 16C and a form. Uh, fill out here. Do you have any questions for Mr. Morgan? I don't. I just have to get in here and try his lunch buffet that everybody says is great. That's good. It's great, really. Yeah. That's a good lunch buffet. That's what I've been told. Oh, wow. 
they were very popular and a destination. That's great. And um, if you're applying for a seasonal wine and malt license, um, okay, and uh, so that's all we would grant at this time unless you choose to. Uh, sure. I believe their plan is to then, once they get approved... Yeah, once, once, once convert, anything... Uh, try to convert it. Uh, yeah, okay. once, once anything is open here, we're going to upgrade. So there's a potential conversion down yeah, Exactly, yes. Okay. Just to get up, up and running and it's a plan for the season. Um, and I'm waiting for Vince to send me an electronic copy of the floor plan because sure. I can't make a copy of that. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll make a note of it. Okay. I spoke with him today. Okay. All right, I see the workman's comp info, the insurance info, the liability here, the uh, bank statement, the lease agreement, and all the other documents appear to be here. That's so, excellent. Um, we uh, find that this um, establishment um, is within 500 feet of a, uh, of a, of a church. So, um, did we send out the cards of notification of this? Yep, the green ones should be attached to the affidavit of a buyer's department. For that. Okay. All right. Oh, so they are? Okay. And we received no comment from anyone uh, regarding this. So, therefore, I will make a motion pursuant to Section 16C that the proposed location of this uh, license does not pose any. Um, uh, harm to negative impact to uh, spiritual institution. Uh, granting this license will not impose any negative impact to them. So I'll make that motion. And I will second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Then um, we have the application for the um, seasonal license and a form 43 that we must submit to the ABCC. So I'll make a motion that we grant seasonal wine and malt license to uh, Rahan Incorporated, DBA, Bombay, Bombay Royale, and um, uh, we're not waiting for anything, right? Nope. Um, we are waiting for the certificate of good standing, and okay. they've already okay. applied for it. Okay, and pending the yet. receipt of that, uh, I'll make a motion that we grant the license as I just uh, I will second the motion. Sorry, I forgot to make that. Um, and um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, thank you. Uh, Cindy, there's a couple. Um, thank you very much. Thank you very much. On this here, I think Best of luck. Dry all right, thanks. Incorporated here. It's Rahan there. It's Bambay Royale. So. Can I use your stamp? Yeah, use my stamp. Okay. So do you need these gentlemen? Do you need this, Cindy? Uh, no. All right, no, thanks. Uh, we, 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 we're just... Thanks, all right. I'll, I'll make a note of the uh, electronic. All right, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. All right. No, no, no. Okay. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank and, um, item number eight, application for transfer of stock change of manager, pledge of license to new officer directors, Northampton Golf Incorporated, DBA, Northampton Country Club. Just identify yourselves. Yes, I'm Jonathan Kane. I'm the lawyer for Mr. Casagrande, and uh, Mr. Casagrande is here with me. He'll be available to answer questions. I just wanted to introduce uh, what we're doing. And as you can tell from the pa application package, the license holder is the corporation, Northampton Golf Inc., and its remaining license holder, Mr. Casagrande, is purchasing the stock of the corporation. Uh, and therefore, we need to transfer the, the uh, change, uh, change manager form for him. And um, there is no pledge of stock in this corporation, but there is a pledge of the license. So we provide the documentation indicating the pledge paperwork, and uh, we need approval of that as well. Is your last name K? K-A-N-E. K -A -N -E. Thank you. Fierce Kane and Bloomberg. So 
Yes, I think you're right. I, the um, Burnishes, the owners, uh, sold the golf club, and therefore you probably processed the change at that point. Yeah. And then the uh, owner, the previous owner, uh, fell behind a payment, so it was foreclosed, and the license returned back to Mr. Burnish, uh, or with the corporation, Mr. Burnish became the manager again. Yeah, you're, you're getting, I, I was Right. So that was probably only a few years ago. I think, I think four, four yeah. maybe four and a half years ago. Okay, I just realized that, the, that I had a recollection of there having been some. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. So, I'm, so I'm concerned about stability and just wanting to know um, exactly who's in charge and, and, and who we can hold hold responsible and accountable. Right. And, and That's really our major, major concern. Well, I, I've been there for the last 13 years during the whole, the whole time, <laughs> yeah, transition back and forth, uh, and uh, you know, maintained uh, my position as a golf pro, and uh, uh, been working very closely with the Burnishes throughout this whole time, and uh, we've been very friendly in, in everything, and uh, it just seemed to work better for both of us. Uh, you know, they didn't really want it back, right? Um, uh, but it was. Yeah, unfortunate, but that's uh, the way it happened, and I kind of was there, and it was good You're opportunity. Picking up the pieces, good, okay, good that's opportunity good. for him. I'd just like to point out, uh, although he's the golf pro, he also is a previous manager of record at the Westover uh, Golf Course, and he more or less, uh, you know, operates the food and beverage operations now under the supervision. They work closely with the Burnishes who have the license, but. Um, He's get certified, and he's really already doing it, and has been for years uh, running the operation. So well, that's our concern. Service, Again, yeah. we have someone new step, and we want right. to make darn sure that they're they're tip certified, really and that they have some experience. Yeah. Yeah. Did I get that tip certification? Can you get that to me? I believe it should. I it believe might it should be in there. Yeah. I just don't remember. Uh, I can tell you in that big package we gave you. I believe it is uh, item number twelve, attachment twelve. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Cascano. There was even something before that, uh, just you know, some routine business, maybe eight, nine years ago, too, correct? You became manager of record then or something like that for this place, no? No. No? No. I, I've and been there. you left again? Say again? You, you, didn't, you weren't manager at the, at the club before and then no, left? No, that would have been uh, prior to me. Uh, it would have, well, the prior owner would have been Tim Balco. That was it. Okay. No, that was some years ago, I just remember dimly, yeah. but it, neither here nor there now. Um, I was there during that time, but... but as the golf pro. Right. right. Yeah. Pretty standard. Right. Okay, so we appear to have the information uh, regarding the uh, transfer of stock to new officers and that we have the pledge form for Freedom Credit Union. That's correct. That is, um, to whom the license is being pledged. The Secretary of State didn't get back to you, Mr. Kane, with any anything on the changes that you submitted, or has no, that to uh, you? no, they they made a typographical error in his name, which we are now correcting, uh, but it's a uh, ministerial. They had no substantive issues. Everything is fine. Okay. Um, I, and I will just, as a point of information, I see new officers slash directors. Um, obviously, we see a new manager, change of manager. Um, do we know who the new directors are? Or oh, I'm sorry. Yes. This is just Yeah. It's just two. Okay. Christine. Who, who was the, the <coughs> yeah. All right. Thank you. All right. Uh, we have a uh, application then for transfer of stock, change of management, other license, new officers, directors. Um, and um, 
previous to the ABCC, I move that we approve the application for those things in the submittal of the 443 the ABCC pursuant to the changes outlined in the package. Um, I, I would just seek to amend the motion to, right. to make it pending receipt of the tips. It's there, I can see it. Right, it's in right. Exactly. Oh, it is. Okay. It's in number 12, yes. Okay, never mind. I, re I, I re withdraw that okay. amendment. Okay, you second my motion? I second your motion. Okay, and this is an annual all alcohol yes. license. Um, so that being noted, uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank Best you. of luck. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Item number nine, application of farm winery license to sell a farmer's market, Mount Warner Vineyards, at the farmer's markets um, on Saturdays. And I see here it's only to sell with Mineral Hills Winery is not available. So hi, I'm sorry, identify yourself again. My name is Bobby Keenan and I'm a co-owner of Mount Warner Vineyards. Okay, and tell us what's happening at the farmer's market then? Sure, okay. Uh, we did the same thing last year. We actually, Mineral Hills basically, I believe, uh, hopefully they're of a play. Uh, they basically sell wine at the market through August, and then we've been invited, as we were last year, by the market manager to, when they finish in the end of August, we pick up from September to the end of, end of the market selling wine. Okay. okay. And there may be occasions during the summer when they're not a, a, available, one or two, and that's why we're applying for this season. Okay. And I see, uh, Ms. Kamen, you have your MDAR here. Mm -hmm. And you were doing this last year. Um, and um, the treasurer's final library license. Do you have any questions for Ms. Kamen? No, I just want to know if anything's changed from last year to this year. Okay. You want to make us aware. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Go for a motion. I'll make a motion to approve the application for a farm winery license by Mount Warner Vineyards. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming in. Okay. Thank you. Cindy, I. Okay. And I believe. What? I might have a license right now. The license. Let's see. Yeah. I intended to. Okay. I can mail it to you if you'd like. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thanks for working with you. Okay. Um, item 10 rescind application for transfer license for Sakura and Vita Discuss application for transfer of stalls and change of directors. What has happened with them again? Um, has, has the sale of the license fallen through? No. Um, sorry. No. Take your time. We're not in any rush. The audience will get impatient. Yeah. Um, okay, so. Apparently, I told them they didn't need to come in again. I spoke with Renata at ABCC, who is in charge, and I spoke with, they finally put me in touch with their attorney, and apparently someone had told them that they needed to change the name of their corporation every five years, so that's why they were doing it. And the attorney said, no, you don't need to do that. Really, they were only trying to change the name of their corporation, but because they had changed stockholders and directors years ago. They never caught up with ABCC. Right. So they were making them do a whole transfer of license, which would have made sense. But now they're deciding not to change the name of the corporation. So I have a letter here written by the License Commission, um, on the License Commission letterhead, that I wrote explaining that they're rescinding and, and that I spoke with Renata and 
um, June at the ABCC, and this is what they told us to do. And I'm okay. still waiting for some of the paperwork from them, but it's in process, and that's like that's just a mess of papers right now. That is, they're, they're going to get the paperwork in. They just couldn't get it by this meeting. It and will remain Jacob and Tina Chan Incorporated, or no? No, that's what it was going to change to. Okay. So now it's going to still be how Chen, I believe. Is oh. is. How Chen Incorporated? Yeah. Okay. So DBA. Um, yes. Right. Okay. And um, the ABCC will say this will settle and end this, and this, and, this and we've massive already gotten paperwork, all that paperwork flow. In, but with new dates, so the uh, ABCC now is making them get another. Um, certificate of good standing because it's drawn out for more than 90 days. So they had to request another. So we're waiting for a bunch of paperwork, but I just wanted to get it through in this meeting so that once it came in, I could submit it. Please make it stop. Okay. All right. So there's nothing we have to do. Right. Just approve it. Oh, we have to approve. We approve form 43. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because right. we're sort of starting over, but it's all the same okay. stuff. Well, I'll make a motion All right. to rescind the application for transfer of license for Sakura and Vegan Palette and to approve Form 43. For Hao Chen Incorporated. For Hao Chen Incorporated. Okay. Um, okay. We have a previously signed Form 43 with the new, now defunct corporate name. Do we have a Form 43 to sign, reverting it to Hao Chen? You know what? I did, and I'm going to pass it, so I'll no stamp it. All right, stamp it. Okay, I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All right, this is the one. Okay. Terrific. All right, so that's it for that then? What do you mean? Yeah. So, Uh, item number 11, approval minutes from the March 9th and April 6th meeting. Uh, uh, I'm going to look at this here. Um, yeah, this is, this is always my concern. <laughs> um, I was not present as I was sick on, the mar on March 9th and was not here. So, um, I really can't vote to approve minutes that I was not present for. Uh, and we'll hold those out then. Um, uh, the April 6th meeting. Uh, I was here and I, I will okay, certainly we'll be willing to move that then. I'll move to approve the S April 6, 2016 second. meeting. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, just may I note one thing? Um, from the March 9th meeting. This is something from my, I don't know if I discussed this in, in open meeting or not, but um, the um, compliance checks, um, what we've done with those is we've had a, um, we found them in violation of compliance check and absent a record of service of minors in absence of other history of sanctions that we've given them, we have almost, you know, for for most of the time he's been going on, have given the um, uh, one or two day suspension, suspended for six months, barring any further um, alleged violations. And um, the six month period is important, let me know, um, to the uh, NPD because that's the cycle in which they do this. So if there's a probationary period of less than six months, say three months, it wouldn't serve the purpose they use to keep um, monitoring the service of alcohol, the minors, and all that. So let me just make a note. We gave uh, this one uh, violation in Osaka, in this case, the March 9th meeting, which you were there, I understand. We gave them six months. Right. Um, so let me just note uh, here at open meeting that that is the, uh, uh, I understand it's the NPD's wish that if we do find a sanction like that where we suspend the suspension, 
that we suspended for at least for six, a months. six months of our for the violation right. that sinks the, with the um, cycle in which they do these compliance checks with Hampshire Prevention Coalition. And I, I think that has been our standard rule of thumb, whatever. There was one, uh, the reason I bring this up, okay. uh, there was one which three month um, uh, probation was, was given, uh, a meeting I wasn't at, and um, uh, I talked to the chief and she said something. That about she that. made She made the point that I'm making right now about that. So. Just we need going to get forward. it in the record. That's great. Yeah, going forward. Okay. Yeah, just Do you want me to add that? Because it was discussed. Would you like me to add that to those minutes or just in this? Was it discussed at I the time? I think it was discussed at that time at that meeting, but I, I did. Yeah, I, I probably did. If I'm bringing it up now, I probably felt like I should have brought it because I had that conversation with Jody that um, at that okay. thing. So that would be fine. So add it to the minutes and then when we approve them, it will be on the record. Yeah, that's all. Um, uh, have you been out for your uh, ride along? Yet? My ride along? That's for cops. No. You ever done that? No. For the city solicitor? No, I, I never, never did. It was great, yeah. actually. Uh, we all did it. Uh, when I, not long after I first got on, but I rode, rode, rode along with the cops and all that. I haven't so, ever been invited. I think that's probably uh, why I never thought of it. Um, Russ, you know, made it the point to invite us. I don't know if Jody will. Would you like to do that to her for you? Yeah, I don't want to in intervene in any. I mean, it's basically it they got matter. lots of things to do, yeah, like, right. and I, I have a pretty. It, well, they, were, they seemed happy to do it back then. Yeah. And all that. So, mm -hmm. no worries. Um, have we have any new business? Yes. What is it? Um, Building 8 Brewery is. They are a farm brewery. They're not licensed by the local license commission. They're licensed by the state. But there is one day, actually there will be another day in the summer, but they'll do a different request. Um, on June 18th, they're having sort of an open house in conjunction with Pedal to Pint Day. So they need extra space for people to come in. They're not selling anything. They're not increasing their um, samples. They're just doing what the four ounce sample that they're allowed to do with the license that they have. Because it was strange, I called and spoke with um, Ryan Melville at the ABCC and he said just to put it through as a short term license with you guys so that it was there. Um, O'Brien explained how he, that there would be a defined area. It was, he's very clear on that. It's barely outside their door. He just wanted if somebody stood outside with their sample that it would be okay. And um, I think we discussed that there may be no fee because it's not a fee license that they have anyway. It's just to be able to stand outside the door. Yes, I, I agree. It's, there's, uh, this is a minimal extension of premises. They're offering samples. Mm -hmm. It seems to me that, you know, neither the presence of the licensee nor the fee. As long as, as long as it's a, a discreet one day event, I have no problem. If this was to mm, be viewed as some sort of way of expanding your premises full time, I would be, it would be a concern. It's one day, and they are going to do one that's bigger in the summertime, but he's going to come in and actually well, you ask can ask our permission at that point, sure. If he were going to uh, ask for an extension of premises, we do it the way we always do it. Yeah. Kind of the, the plans and all that, and the DPW mm -hmm. saying it's fine, the whole, the whole thing, but this is not that sort of case. Mm -hmm. so. Um, yeah, I read he, Cindy's uh, email explaining okay. it. Yeah. Right. So, um, is the sidewalk in front of the Bay State Hotel even big enough for any of this? I mean, he's actually not at the Bay State Hotel. He's in um, Florence, the cutlery building. The cutlery building. Oh, um, okay. It's sort of behind the cutlery building. Oh, I'm sorry. 320 Riverside Drive. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I saw Bay State, I saw Grand Tomlin, I thought Bay yeah. State Hotel. Yeah. Okay. Then um, I'll make a motion that we grant this um, short term liquor license, wine and malt license for a building aid brewing for 320 Riverside Drive, essentially an extension of premises at that location for uh, one day. Um, uh, June 18th, 
2016 with a fee waiver. And I'll second that motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so let me. Okay, um, great. Anything else? Okay. Move to adjourn. Second. Okay, right. Aye. Aye. Aye.